Hi you guys, I'm Lori Austin. I'm gonna be leading the singles panel at the Ignite Conference on March 12th. And before I tell you what the panel's gonna be about, I wanna be able to set a vision for what it's not gonna be. If you're like me and you are single in your mid 30s, your 40s, your 50s, whatever your stage is, and how many times have we gotten together with other single women and it just turns into this gnarly, crotchety, bitter woman fest in the worst kind of way, that doesn't bring life to us. That doesn't bring us forward in the season, which for you, if it's a hard and difficult season to be single, I get it. <laughs> I have uh, <clears throat> cried myself to sleep a number of times. I have left dinner parties and cried and just prayed saying, Lord, when, when will there be somebody sitting next to me? When will I have my person that I can dream with and partner with in life? So I get that, but I also want us to be able to challenge ourselves to something far greater. And my prayer for our time and dialogue is that as um, panelists, we can share a bit from our experience of the things that have brought life to us. And I want you to be able to bring your same experience and an expertise perhaps on the things that you have learned along the way so that as as each of us, if we are single, never been married, if we're divorced, if we're separated, if you're spiritually single, um, if we've been widowed, whatever your circumstances would be, I want us to all leave with a, a renewed hope and vision for the season that God has for us. So it's not to say that we're not gonna go into the painful pieces of it. I just don't want us to tip over that edge of this snarly, ugh, like crazy cat lady kind of thing in the worst kind of way. No offense against cats, just that kind of stereotypical place. So we wanna be women that have a glow about us because we are well-loved women by our Heavenly Father and that that reflects to our community around us. So come with your ideas, come with your pains, come with your questions and let's, uh, <clears throat> let's go after it. Let's go after it and pray and in great anticipation knowing that God will meet us there. I look forward to seeing you there in a couple of weeks. Until then, everybody go on five dates. Homework. <laughs>